Hello again everybody, this is Mr. McLean with another Pure Moran exclusive advisory math video. Today's subject is prime factorization, math 7th grade standard, talking about number sense, standard 1. With me is my special guest, a member of Solution Squad, Absissa. Hi! Absissa is going to help us along doing some prime factorization problems. Now, prime factorization is where you break a number down into its prime factors. Now, if you'll recall from your normal math class, prime numbers include 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, and more. But those are the ones that we're going to use for right now to talk about prime factorization. Let's start with breaking down 90, a composite number, into its prime factors. Absissa, do you know what a composite number is? Nope. A composite number is a number that can be broken down into factors besides one in itself. A prime number, of course, like these, they're numbers that can only be broken down into one times themselves. So we're going to break down 90 into its prime factors as best we can. Now this method is called a factor tree. We're going to take 90 and we're going to break it down into two numbers that we know multiply to make 90. Can you tell me two numbers? 9 and 10. Okay, that'll work. So we have 9 and 10. Are those numbers prime? Nope. Nope, they're not part of our prime number list, so we have to keep breaking them down. What makes 9? What two numbers multiply to make 9? Uh, 3 and 3. Good. So if we break down 9 into 3 times 3, are those numbers part of our prime number list? Yep. Yes, they are. They're right here. So knowing that they're prime numbers, we'll circle them to let us know that those numbers are done. We could break them down into 1 times 3, but 1 goes into anything, so that's not very useful to do. Okay, let's turn our attention back to this composite number, 10. What two numbers multiply out to make 10? 2 and 5. All right. So we break that down into 2 times 5. Are those numbers part of our prime number list? Yes. Yes, they are. 2 and 5 are both prime numbers, so we know we're finished. So the prime factorization of 90 turns out to be 3 times 3 times 2 times 5. Now, multiplication can be done in any order that we choose, but we'd like to write these in what's called ascending order. Just to make it easy for everybody to have the same answer, we're going to put them in ascending order, which means it goes from least to greatest. So what's the smallest of these numbers? 2. So let's put 2 first, and then? 3 and 3. 3 and 3 and then we'll put 5 last. So there they are in ascending order, and we can actually simplify it a little bit more and use an exponent to describe two factors of 3. So that would be 2 times 3 to the second power times 5. And that is the prime factorization of 90. Any questions? Nope. Okay. We'll be right back. And we're back. This time we're going to try a different method of prime factorization called inverted division. Epsis, have you ever heard of inverted division? Nope. I don't know there's another way. Yep, there sure is. So what we're going to do is we're going to take 90 again, and we're going to see if we can come up with the same answer by doing it slightly differently. This time we're going to take the prime numbers one at a time, and we're going to try to divide them into 90. Now this method works really well if you're strong with your multiplication facts. Are you strong with your multiplication facts? Not as much as the calculadora, but I'm pretty good. Good. So here's what we're going to do. Let's try 2. Does 2 go into 90? Yes. Why? Because 90 ends with a 0. Good. And numbers that end in 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8 are divisible by 2. So we're going to take 2 into 90, and this is where the strong multiplication comes in. 2 goes into there 45 times. Now, it's not a problem if you don't understand this. The, the way we did right here with the factor tree, this will always work too. But if you're really strong, this is actually going to work out faster, and I'll show you why in a moment. Now, let's try that 2 again. Does 2 go into 45? Nope. No, because it ends in 5. So we're going to stop that one, and we're going to go on to the next prime number, which is 3. Let's see, does 3 go into 45? Yes, because 4 plus 5, its digit sum, makes 9. And 9 it divides by 3. So that's a little trick that we can use to check to see if something divides by 3 evenly. Now, 3 goes into 45 15 times. Once again, strength in multiplication facts is really good to have here. And now let's try 3 again. Does 3 go into 15? Yes. How many times? 15. Oh, wait. <laughs> 5. 5. Okay. Oops. So we're going to divide 3 again into there, and that's going to make 5. And look, 5 is a what? Prime number. 
<laughs> by the prime number so we know that we're finished. We don't have to break it down anymore. Now that may seem like a lot of work, but here's where it comes in handy. Watch what we get when we now look at all the divisors, those numbers outside the houses as we divided down our list. We have two, three, three, and five. And it comes to be right in the same order that we had this last time, two, three, three, and five. And now we can quickly write it in exponential form. Once again, two factors of three makes it three to the second power. And so we have two times three squared times five. So there you have it, a second method for finding prime factorization of numbers. Cool. Thanks everybody and have a good day. I'm sure your teachers have some for you to practice on.